there's a new party in town, guys. You know about it, but maybe you did. New centrist party just dropped. Uh, it's called the Forward Party. You know how we needed a new centrist party? Um, it is co-chaired by Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang and former Republican New Jersey governor Christine Todd Whitman. It's a, basically a combo of like three lesser centrist entities that are sort of transforming like planet cap, Captain Planeting or whatever they are doing. Uh, Renew America movement uh, created by former Republicans. The Serve America movement, Democrats and Republicans and independents, led by David Jolly of Florida. And then Yang's forward party. And Yang, I guess, won out. Um, so we're going to we're asking what's like their platform? Like, what are the what are some of the planks in their new platform form? This is forward to where? Okay, so just to, if you guys need some help, and Emma, if you want some help, sort of like thinking through, like mm -hmm. what, like what would you, if you're like you're hired as like a consultant for the Forward Party, like what do you think the first few things you guys are, you know, what's on, what is on the docket here? What's your policy? What proposals? Um, their slogan, one of their sort of what they want to do on their, this is according to their website, they want to reinvigorate a fair flourishing economy and open society that's where everyone specific. yeah flourish where everyone can live a good life and is safe in the place where we learn work and live it sounds like i don't okay i know what it actually is like i know it's like a libertarian nightmare so mm -hmm. solution to like everything we have but it just sounds like a more mealy-mouthed version of the democratic party like live a good life and is safe it feels like it's like ending gun violence you know like is yeah. safe, you know we're just, against bad things and um, for good things we want your life to be good oh i'm time for me to donate <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um so i have a few i think that some of the policy proposals will be um in order to combat climate change um airbnb will be given federal grants <laughs> To build tiny homes in trees. Hobbit homes. Uh, they should be underground, too. That was what Ted Cruz said Obama was going to do, right? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I don't remember that. I, there's like, or maybe it wasn't Ted Cruz. It was some Republican that said Obama was going to force us all. We're going to live in Hobbit homes. <laughs> and I'm like, honestly, that sounds lovely because oh that God, community is beautiful. And yeah. ev everyone should want to be a part of uh, the Shire. But regardless, um, yeah, it is hilarious. The, the, first of all, uh, you know, if you guys haven't seen through Andrew Yang at this point as a uh, <laughs> uh, essentially a, a libertarian light, then I don't know what I can do for you. Because his proposal for UBI in and of itself was sus because I'm in favor of UBI as a supplement, right? As long as it's supplementary. And it is not as a replacement for Medicare, for Social Security, for existing social programs that already need to be expanded. That was what his whole candidacy was, frankly, based on, which yeah. is like, wait, in, in, instead of this cash going towards people's health care, what if we gave it and put it into their pocket so it could go right back into the economy and so that everyone and could then we can from blame it. them when they're sick and be like, oh yeah. my God, you didn't save enough money for your pharmaceuticals. You didn't save enough money for that car accident that you knew you were going to get Exactly. Into. Right? Personal responsibility. So this is the natural progression of it. Um, and, you know, he's just such a grifter. And I'm still shocked at the branding of this party, which he still is sticking with forward. Dude, you're openly advertising it as a centrist party, which is like, you just you have half of the Democratic Party, if not more, already on board with this platform. But um, call it inertia. Call it status quo. That's the reality of what it is. Just to think that like there were enough centrists to even form a new party around is like bonkers. Like say what you will about the People's Party and sort of the Jimmy Dore nut jobs. At least there's like a lot of people who are fucking disaffected from the Democratic Party to the left of it. You know, like at least there's a, that that's more strategic. I just again, I'm unclear who all these centrists are. OK, I've got more policy proposals, though. So I think they're going to incentivize public transit by only 
having buses and trains except Ethereum. Mm-hmm. And that's like the way to go, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, they're going to subsidize Ubers for those suffering a medical emergency and are currently bleeding right now. The, those Uber rides will be free and then ambulances will have to compete. And that's like. But only we, free if you apply for a rebate. Right. Oh, no, no, no. It's not up front. Yeah. Um, if you meet the requirements and you bring, the, you know, take photos or have the proper amount of um, ounces of blood you lost um though that Uber you gotta meet that blood threshold you have got yeah. to meet the blood threshold i mean and then once the emts feel like there's competition from uber then they'll do you know what i mean like they'll of course lower the prices for an ambulance ride um because that's the way the free market works affordable accessible uber ambulance rides i mean that is what america's built on yeah. um any what do you what like honestly have you seen anything that they've written or have come out with and what do you think that they're gonna like campaign well on? i read that god awful like hellish op-ed in the washington post um that they put out and all it did was just straw man the left and say we're not in favor of the right's extreme stance stance on banning abortion but we're also not in favor of the left stance of of late-term abortions and uh into the third trimester which like Guys, reality check. The only time that ever happens is when a woman is dying or the life of a mother is in jeopardy. (laughs) That's an extreme position. No one, name a politician in elected office who has said I'm in favor of late term abortion. I just, I really want people to look it up. Try to find anybody because that's not the case. And and all of the Republicans are in favor of the position that they say is representative of the far right. All of them, except for a handful. It's incredible to look at the landscape of politics today and be like, yeah, you know what the problem is? Is just there's not enough. Everyone's like to still say we're so divided and that the left is just, oh, all this defund the police don't let me bleed out from a miscarriage talk, you know? Yeah. Like, like it's just, you're so lost. You're so, and Andrew Yang, again, like, here's what I would say his campaign. Yes, he is Asian. However, it is the whitest guy Asian man campaign. Like, if a fucking racist is running his campaign, an Asian dude with a hat that says math on it, come on now. I'm Chinese and that's offensive. Like, that's straight. Like, a white guy made that. I'm sorry. And then, and then he comes, Andrew Yang's very good at op eds. His op eds are always like, you know what? Hey, hey, Asian Americans. Be more American. That's how you'll stop being hate crimed. I know. Like, what were you wearing when you were hate crimed? Were there enough American flags on you? <laughs> I mean, you were asking for it if you weren't at least wearing an American flag pin. Absolutely. Just like, oh, God. Um, I'm so glad he did so poorly um, trying to be mayor of, I mean, Eric Adams is not. He's a worse. Guy. But <laughs> I almost, I almost so? would rather oh, have. I, no, no, honestly, no. I think I would have. Ra- I I rather would have had Eric Adams because he's okay, and that's <laughs> saying a lot. Because I mean, I rank choice. Uh, I rank choice Yang and Adams. I think I didn't even put them on my ballot because I uh, was so. Oh, know, I would. Yeah. Them, but. No, I'd be too, way too scared. That's when everyone was like, because like we had rank choice over in in California, and they were like, "Do you even have to rank these people?" I'm like, "No, don't put don't put them anywhere on your ballot." <laughs> like, yeah. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.